In this video, we're going to build our first simple component with React. I'm going to write it in plain JavaScript, just so you can see how to do that. Later on in the course, we are going to start using JSX and ES6 classes to write components. So you'll see that later on. So this component might look a bit odd. I doubt you would have seen, uh, if you've looked at any React projects, I doubt you would have seen this kind of syntax generally because it's quite verbose and, a, and not very clean to write but it just gives you quick overview and a good understanding of how components actually get written and how your JSX is going to get transpiled down to playing JavaScript with. In our index.html here we have two scripts the first script being the react library itself and the second being the react dom library now these are both required. The React library is going to allow us to write our components and the React DOM library is going to render our components to the DOM. You'll see that in a second. Within our body, we've then got a div with the ID of app and this is where all our React components are going to get rendered to. So any component we write within our script tag here, we're going to tell React DOM to render that to this div. So let's go ahead and write our first component. So we're going to use the React DOM library here. Notice the three capital letters. And we're going to use the render function, which takes two arguments. The first being the React element and the second being the DOM element container, which in this case is gonna be the div with the ID of app. So let's go ahead and write the first React element. So this time we're gonna use the React library itself. And this library has a function called create element, which takes three arguments. The first argument being the HTML tag in our case, it's going to be a H1. So this can be anything. This can be a H1, a paragraph, a div. You'll see that later on as well. The second argument is the properties that we're going to pass into elements. We're not going to see this now, so it's just going to be null. But we will see this later on. And don't worry about it. Don't need to understand it now. I'm going to cover that later on. And the third argument is going to be the inner HTML we want to pass in to our H1. Or, as we'll see in the future, you can either pass in another React element. So in our case, it's just going to be hello world. Pretty boring, but it's just going to give you a quick insight into how React works. So that is our first React element. So you can imagine it's going to be a H1 with the text hello world, nice and simple. So as I mentioned earlier, the React DOM takes two arguments. The second argument being the DOM element that we are gonna render our component into. In this case, it's gonna be the div with the ID of app. And to do this, we just select this div. And we're gonna use JavaScript to do that, obviously. So document.get element by ID. Ooh. And then we're just gonna pass in the ID app. So that's just going to get this element here and then pass this component into it, this element into it. Close that off with the semicolon, save that and let's check it out in the browser. And there we have it folks. Hello world. Nice and simple. Really easy, really quick. Just to give you a quick recap of how this works. So React DOM Using the render method itself, we pass in the first element being the, the first argument, sorry, being the HTML element or the React element that we want to render. So we're using react.create element and we pass in the H1, the HTML tag. In this case, null, this is the properties which we'll find about later. And hello world, which is the inner HTML of the H1 element. And we then tell React DOM where to render that component to. In this case, the div with the ID of app. And we get our hello world. 
nice and simple. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please share and subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Send me a tweet, an email, or catch me on Slack. Thank you.